Okay. So, this is her entry, you know, to her room. So this is the first wall. When you walk in, we got gifted a lot of these little flowers. Oh, they were adorable. So I've kind of put them all over her room. Um, she also got gifted her little name right there. So I hung up everything. I actually handmade this. I crocheted that. It's actually supposed to be an ornament, but um, I thought it was cute in her room. And these are all of her cards that she got from family and friends. I also crocheted this little booty. It's also an ornament. I thought that was adorable. So anyways, this is the first wall. This is the entryway right off the kitchen. And the living room is right there too. Um, that is her closet. This is her little makeshift uh curtain um she got gifted these little things they're so adorable little booties in the carriage and these came from her great-grandmother they're extremely old from tennessee that's my baby picture but i figured it looked cute in here um there's her diaper bag i'm actually gonna film a what's in my diaper bag so if you're looking for that this is her bed. Oh my goodness, you talking? <laughs> um, so this is her bed. There she is. She's, I just put her in there for now while I'm filming this. Um, ignore all that over there. That's actually gifts, baby gifts for baby showers here in a minute. But um, this is her crib. Her aunt got her the... Um, <laughs> Her aunt got her the blanket and the crib, um, what, what am I trying to say? The sheets and stuff. Um, and our aunt, me and Nathan's aunt actually got, and our step-grandmother, um, got her the crib. So, here's a little stuff. The animals, I thought this pattern, it was just perfect it's so adorable um that this teddy bearish we got when we at our gender reveal from nani who also helped get the crib for us um and that was before we knew she was a boy or a girl so that was awesome but we got this while i was six months pregnant with her in um gatlinburg Tennessee, so I got her a little bear. And here's Miss Sophia. Yes, hello. <laughs> um, I got these two little buckets from Dollar Tree because you know we're on a budget, whatever. But um, I put all her toys in there for now because I figure when she starts crawling, they're like six inches tall, so she'll be able to dig in there and whatnot. Ignore the plug. I will fix all that later, but say, I'm just rolling over. Um, I also have her baby book just put right there for right now. Um, and this is the dresser that I was talking about at the beginning. My grandpa, my papa, actually hand-built all of this. Um... He cut all the wood and everything. So up here, and well, the perfect the reason I was talking about earlier was it's a perfect height for at least right now for um, a changing table. I thought that was perfect. So I got this little changing table mat and we got her warm wiper, her diapers, lotion, brushes, stuff like that up here. But this first drawer, I have um, just like, our little onesies, nothing too fancy, but stuff that we wear, you know, on a daily basis. Um, those are more onesies, but these are actually outfits. So I've got, you know, the pants and the onesies together, and these are just plain onesies, and those are more outfits right there. Then we have all of her nightgowns, the actual gowns that she wears, and then the little footy pajamas. And then we have some pants. Um, just some extra pants that didn't match anything, but 
Um, in the second drawer, I have all of her blankets, all of her towels for bath time, all her wash rags. Um, I have her burp cloths and her bibs, which currently, that one's kind of big, but she's drooling so, so bad because she's starting to teeth. And she learned how to blow bubbles, so we try to keep, try to keep dry. Um, and then back here, I have like travel, little travel kits and stuff because we do travel a lot back and forth to home. I've got some of her medicine and just like random little objects in there. And then in this bottom drawer, I keep all of her diapers. This is all of her spare stuff. So that way, if I'm in the middle of changing her and there's no diapers up here, all I, I mean, I can keep my hand on her and just bend down here and get a diaper. And there's actually wipes for um, the wipe warmer. So all of that's in here. <laughs> She's in a really good mood. Um, I also have her hamper right here because when you're changing her and she had a blowout or something like that, um, it's so easy just to take everything off of her and literally throw it right there without even having to look. Okay, so this is her closet and it's not perfect. Um, this is, you know, our temporary house. So a lot of this we have just like spare boxes up there, but um, this is all stuff that she has outgrown and or breastfeeding objects that we don't use anymore. Um, there's like some old diaper, newborn diapers and just stuff like that she outgrew. Um, and then in this, this is stuff that was given to us. Um, this goes from six months all the way to like two or three years old clothes in that bucket. So all that's just in her closet. Um, hanging up, this, all this stuff over here is what she's currently wearing. This is all the stuff that fits her. It's three month or three to six months, just depending. Um, I guess different, you know, different brands fit differently or whatever, but this is all nice dress clothes or things that are coming up that are about to start fitting her. So this is all six month clothing because that's the next step up. Um, and this stuff is like jackets and just extra things that wouldn't fit in the bucket down there. These are some dolly dresses. These are the ones that we bought her um, that should fit her probably around December, I'm guessing. They run a little bit big, but we got different colors. We got the pink, the mint green, and then this one is passed down. Um, we actually have a red one that she's already worn, but that's kind of our little family thing. The little dolly dress is so cute. Um, right here, this is where I keep spare hangers, but this is where I keep all of her bows. I'm still working on it. I need to find more ribbon like this and to hang up. Um, but like I said, this is temporary because once we get wherever we're going, I'll actually have something hanging like on a wall somewhere that I can hang all her bows and stuff with um but anyways these are her bows for right now I use these the most so that's what I've kind of hung up and then the rest of them are on this little hanger just for now she's got probably every color you can think of um and that's some more stuff that either doesn't fit her or that we don't use anymore. But if we have another baby, I'll pull it back out. Um, we just don't have anywhere else to put it. That's her little bag when we go places, whatever. That's actually an air mattress. So if we have company, they can. we have one in each spare bedroom. Um, but back here, this is all of her shoes that fit her right now. They're so tiny and so adorable. Um, look at these. And these little church shoes, they're so cute. Um, these are other bows that are too big to put on the hanger. And then this first drawer, we have all of her hats. If I can open it, we'll open all the way. Um, we also have these. I figured when she outgrows these bows, back here when this doesn't stretch anymore 
um, you will go to these and these you do like a clip on. So you do a hair clip bow, clip it in there. But I have every color of those. I bought those before she was born. Um, and then we have these little hat bows. They're so adorable. So we got those in here. We also have the older stuff that doesn't fit her quite yet. These bows, and this is what I was talking about. You put these on that. And then we have all of these little hats that match um, pajamas, pajama sets. And then the second drawer, this is tool that I use um, to create, I actually made one of her tutus in her newborn picture. It's actually in that bag right there, but um, I just keep that in here, whatever. But these are all her socks. And then down here is shoes that don't fit yet, but they're so cute. I'm so excited. Look how cute. So that's stuff that doesn't fit her yet um, down there, but that's pretty much everything in her room. I also have these little like cardigan sweater things. Um, there's her outfits are so cute. Look at this, this little dress. Um, I think that's pretty much everything in her room. I guess I can show y'all. I handmade this. This is um, cardboard from like a Coke box. And I just cut it out in the shape of her initials, Sophia Lynn Harrington. Um, this was gifted to us. I just stuck that on there. I thought that was cute. And this is actually twine if you look really close. Everything's taped on the wall. But this is twine. I just got a uh, marker and colored up under it the different colors that are all throughout her room. Um, and I just put twine all over that and this one. And then for her last name, since it is going in the middle, I did ribbon and then I made like a little, I don't know, like a little flower thing up there. Um, I did that while I was pregnant too when I was at home bored. Um, and then this was gifted to us. I just stuck the little flowers on there. I thought that was really pretty. And I kind of tried to eyeball it and center it with her bed. And then these I made while I was pregnant too. Um, I actually, which one did I do first? I think I made the flower first. I hand drew everything. I just looked at, it was in the picture frame at one point, but it fell off the wall and broke. So um, I just kind of taped them up there like this. But... I hand drew these with a pencil. Ow. What do you want? What do you want? Oh my goodness. <laughs> what do you want? Okay, get down. Get down. Get down. Thank you. Thank you. She wants some attention. Okay, so anyways, um Owie. <laughs> Calm down. <laughs> Oh my goodness, calm down. <laughs> okay, anyways, I hand drew these with a pencil. If you get really close, you can actually tell. Um, I just looked up some stuff online, looked at it on my phone and just eyeballed and drew it. And then I took some colored pencils and colored it in on the colors that I thought would match this or I even added colors because this has blues and purples in it. Um, so I did this one and then that's where I got the inspiration to do the little animals. I thought the animals were so cute. The little baby bunny rabbits and then, you know, the butterflies. But I also did these flowers to try and match this, to tie them in together. Um, and then I ended up writing her name and then I did this little baby elephant and Allie licked it because I had it on the floor in here in her nursery and we kept the door shut. But the one time I left it open, she came in here and <laughs> licked the paper. So ignore that. Anyways, so I drew this little baby elephant. 
Um, all this stuff is free handed. Um, and then, so what came first was the elephant, you know, the flowers, and then the little bunny rabbits and the umbrella. And then I got the idea to match everything. And so I ended up doing like these little dots. So then did the dots over here. And it actually created a pretty circle um, around like the little animals or whatever. But then I, that's when I added these little flowers to match this and to tie everything in together. And they have them on their heads. If you'll notice like a little crown of flowers on each of their heads. I thought that was really cute. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much what's on this wall. I pretty much hand did all that and eventually we'll get that in frames and actually put a nail on the wall and hang a 